welcome to the part two of creating this the interface for our to do application where we left off we left off with an error warning there showing okay so we need to sort out that have that clean let's go back to our to do form uh, to do components the problem here is on this guy here we need to change that to HTML4 like that okay and we're going to get rid of this one here and we are going to make this 12 save and let's have a look at what we have right that looks better right except for this placeholder there which is interfering with our label and to sort out this uh, what we need to do is we need to come here if you ever have a problem like this one on the label you need to add a class class name we'll copy that one there paste and this you need to make it active then save then let's have a look at what we have right so that's how you sort out this whenever you come across this problem that's how you sort it out okay so on our placeholder although we don't need it but i've shown you how you can set out that okay uh, we're going to get rid of the placeholder i don't need it actually right so now what we can do we can copy this so we can copy this row here So up to row, copy, enter there, paste, and we're going to change this to allocation, allocation, allocation. allocation and allocation right allocation allocation right and this one needed to be task task right save that so let's save this and let's have a look at what we have right so far that's 
nearly perfect except for the labels will sort out that here it's supposed to be allocation and there it's supposed to be task okay so we save that now we want the date right so now we want the date picker and how do we have this so if we copy this copy that paste that there and we are going to change this we're going to change this if we refer to the documentation here to see how we get date picker date picker date picker so on forms forms and we are looking for pickers and date picker this is date picker the html it's like it's still an input and so we go there and replace that like so and but we're going to give it an id in our case which we are saying this is the start date yeah and we need to close that and this will be the same so copy that pastes for time it will be the same markup and so this is that date okay let's deal with dates first then end date yeah so that will be end date like so copy that paste there right and here it's that date copy paste right paste like that okay and we going to end here for now who are still carrying on and uh, let's save this and just quickly have a look at what we have so far we've got lots of errors that we need to sort out in the next episode okay we'll leave it there for now right so